Hi everyone! If you are new to my YouTube channel, please do check my playlist. I have lots of videos on my playlist. And if my YouTube channel and video help you, as an appreciation, please consider donating to our ongoing expenses. Any amount will help us a lot. Please click the link. Thank you so much and have a great day! It's me, Rosie, and my baby Daenerys. So on this video, we will talk about what are the requirements of the K2 for the interview. So this K2 is to follow, meaning that the K1 or the beneficiary is already in the United States. And this K2 will follow to the United States, okay? So the requirements for the interview for K2 is, of course, valid ID. Uh, valid passport, sorry, valid passport, then uh, PSA birth certificate of your K2, then appointment confirmation of your K2, DS-160 of your K2, then St. Luke's medical brown envelope, and, and then just bring the CD coming from the St. Luke's, that, that is the result of the K2's medical, and then baby book, if you have the baby book, of your k2 uh, proof that child is your child um pictures together with the parent pictures together with the petitioner so the k2 needs to bring those pictures okay and then uh the k2 needs to bring three pieces uh two by two passport passport photo and then if your K2 is already in school studying, your K2 needs to bring school record and school ID, okay? And then, of course, your K2 needs to bring the passport bio page. And then, Form I-134 that the K1 um, bring to the interview, okay? Just give a photocopy of the Form I-134, a bit of support from the husband, or the petitioner, W2, ITR, pay stop. It's the same documents that the K1 bring during the K1 interview, okay? Just give a photocopy to your K2 for the K2's interview, okay? And also, NBI clearance, travel abroad if your K2 is 16 years old and above. And of course, Senomar, if your K2... Oh, I'm sorry for that. Senomar, if your K2 is 18 years old and above, and then U.S. marriage certificate of the parents of the K2, meaning the beneficiary and then the U.S. citizen petitioner, their um, U.S. marriage contract or certificate, okay? And then the MRB slip, then the baptismal, if late registered, and then... Um, Government issued ID of the authorized companions and two copies of the ID. Authorization letter or special power of attorney stating that the companion is authorized to sign on behalf of the parent. And then two, photos, two photocopies of uh, the parent's ID if the parent or the beneficiary, the K1. Um, Sorry. The K1 applicant, if you have a uh, state ID, GC, EAD, just bring a photocopy to your K2, okay? So those are the requirements of the K2 for the interview. I will insert a clip, a text clip, so you can read those requirements again, okay? Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.